Hello friends, today we will talk about the experience interview question. So let's start. See up interview questions. So if you not subscribe my YouTube channel, please subscribe, like after watch this video. What is class and objects? So this is basic question of C sharp oops concepts. So learn what is class and objects. Encapsulation and abstraction differentiate between encapsulation and abstraction where we need to use encapsulation and where we need to use abstraction. What is data hiding? A single program having all objects oriented concepts so create a program and implement all the object oriented concepts like abstraction encapsulation inheritance polymorphism so uh, there are many things in oops learn and implement in your program what is polymorphism and how many types of polymorphism static and dynamic learn both of things and differentiate with each other methods overloading and overriding what is concept of method overloading and what the, where we need to use overriding access modifiers why we need to use access modifiers in methods so learn how many types of access modifier and where uh, we need to implement static class methods and variables where we need to use static class and static methods and static variables learn the de description and implement in your program assembly where we need to use assembly garbage collector and its generation why we need to use garbage collector and why we need to use garbage collector in our program and its generation array what is array enumerator what is enum and why we need to use this constraint enumerable what is the difference between enum and enumerable abstract class and inheritance what the difference between both of them and it's mostly asked by the inter uh, interviewer he can ask you what is the check class and what is the dif uh, difference interface inheritance why we need to use inheritance yield and return everybody aware about this function this feature because this is not a function this is the keyword double equal and dot equals method where we need to use double equal and where we need to use dot equals methods this is the extension method dot equals exception handling everybody about aware about the exception handling but you have to learn and implement in your program whenever interviewer asks to ask the question like this you can explain ref out and param so ref and out differentiate and param also interview can ask you because it is also a important question in c sharp so we can ask you named optional and default parameter you have to learn and you can implement in your program sometime it's uses constant and read only if you are giving the telephonic round it's mandatory to learn because interviewer every time can ask to you what is constant and what is read only and what is the difference between both of them is and as difference constructor and destructor 
what is the differentiate bit, difference between constructor and destructor why we use to constructor everybody know about the constructor it's first time initiation of the all uh, properties whenever classes uh, class create the objects but destructor you have to learn why we need to use destructor string and string builder difference learn what is the difference between string and string builder where we need to put the string and where we need to put the string builders there are uh, difference it's a mandatory question nullable type what is the difference between nullable and null class key operator in your c sharp expand or and tuple you can learn it's the most important question use of using in c sharp it's very mandatory because use of using interview can ask where we need to use using keyword parcel classes it is also very important topic parcel classes methods and interface sealed classes sealed is also a important question sql connection class is sealed class so why we need to use sealed comments how many types of comments reason what is reason and why we need to like a writer reason whenever you writing the code deep copy and shallow copy in constructor what is the difference between both of them value type and reference type what is the difference between value type and reference type where we need to use value type and reference type reference type like the string objects value type like a integer so learn what is value type and reference type implement in your program after that you will understand 100% indexer what is indexer type casting everybody know about the type casting but learn what is type casting base and this keyword in constructor what the need of this and what the need of base so learn accordingly delegates it's very important question because interviewer can ask what is the delegates and its type so learn where and dynamic everybody about uh, aware about it what is difference between where and dynamic check and check what is the difference between check and check convert dot to string and dot to string both are methods why we need to use and what is the basic difference preprocessor collections generic and non generic collections is a mandatory question and very important question because generic collections play very very important role in your application so learn topic wise enumerable and enumerator difference why we need to use i enumerator interface and i enumerator interface using and uses difference type casting convert dot to int convert dot parse and convert dot try parse what and where we need to it array list list dictionary hash table and <coughs> this uh, generic type and non generic type of <coughs> collections this is the collections of generic and non generic so you have to learn it's very important question properties for each loop where we need to use boxing and unboxing where we need to use and why shadowing what is the shadowing value type and difference type ternary operator whenever you avoid to implement if else cases so you can use ternary operator in a single line but learn the description and implement a simple program after that you understand what the use is gc phase what is the phase of garbage collector learn and last question is clr interviewer can ask what is the clr and what is the role play by clr in your application 
so this is the all topics like 55 questions in c sharp if you learn all these questions you can crack c sharp interviews so thank you guys thank you so much thanks for watching my video if you like this video please like share and comments if you have any question press the bell icon to get every updates and if you not subscribe yet please subscribe my youtube channel to grow